Hello, I am your instructor, Kaylee Gray, and I'm uh, doing the first video here. Uh, we're building our logic tools. We're trying to build towards the idea of a mathematical proof. So to flow through a proof, we need to have ideas of logic so that we can make conclusions and make sure that our proof is logically sound and has a uh, really strong backbone so that no one can argue with our conclusions that we're making with the proofs. So we're building up these ideas with logic and this is our first little piece that we're going to talk about with logic. So in a couple of introductory videos that I posted from other places online, you actually have already seen a few propositions and gotten the feel for what logic is and where it's used. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and talk about what a proposition is. So a proposition is a declarative sentence. It's either true or false, but not both. So we need to be able to look at the sentence and make sure that uh, it's declaring something and that we can tr check to see if it's true or false. So for example, um, Sacramento is the capital of California. I can go and, and Google the capital of California if I don't know and see whether that statement is true or false. So this one happens to be true. Um, so you can read through these other propositions and uh, notice that they're declaring something. It's clear what is being declared and we're able to check the accuracy, uh, the truth value of each proposition. Um, so let's see. Let's do another. There is some city that is a cap the capital of Hawaii. So this, this statement is true also. There is a city that is a cap the capital of Hawaii. Um, and, and so what they're highlighting here in these propositions, this is this gentleman uh, from Coursera presented these propositions at the beginning of his introduction to logic. Um, and so what he's highlighting here are these connectives. And so this is where we're trying to build uh, right now, but we're starting out with just basic propositions with no uh, connectives. So, and then, and then you know, uh, or, if, then, some, every are gonna be added on to these atomic propositions to um, make them more complex and, and more interesting. Um, and so to start, we're just talking about kind of regular everyday things and we're not really getting into math statements yet, um, but we'll see here in a little bit, we'll talk about uh, more mathematical propositions. So this is just to hopefully get you a feel for what the definition of a proposition is um, so that we can work with these um, in this uh, unit here. So. All right, so let's look at some things that aren't propositions. Um, maybe we can have some examples here. So, so um, in your quiz on D12 that you're going to do after I talk about these uh, four statements here, um, you're going to be determining whether a statement is a proposition or not. And um, so if we look at these four sentences, let's just go through and, and determine whether or not it's a proposition. So we have two things to check. If we need to make sure that it's a declarative sentence, and we need to make sure that we can tell if it's true or false. So we need to look at the statement and say it's either true or it's always uh, false, one or the other. Um, so coffee and tea comes with dinner at Bob's Cafe. So if we go to Bob's Cafe and we order dinner and we get coffee and tea, then, then we know that's true. Um, but you know, if we don't get coffee and tea, then we know that's false. So again, these examples are kind of silly, but, but hopefully you get the idea of those two ideas. It's declarative sentence and it's either true or false. Um, and then the second one, to get a job at Epic, experience with C++ or Java is required. So we could check out this company, Epic, and determine whether or not I need experience with C++ or Java. Um, so that could be true or false, but we'd be able to find out and identify it as true or false. Um, and then this third one, uh, 4 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 23. Now this one's a little bit tricky because you think, oh, this is a declarative sentence, right? It's declaring that 4 times some value x plus 3 is equal to 23. Um, but the issue is, is that sometimes this is true, sometimes this is false. So with our definition currently of propositions, we're a little bit limited. Um, we're going to move up. Um, into uh, 
predicates next week, and that'll allow us for for examples like this where we've got a variable. So sometimes this is true and sometimes this is false. Um, and, and so I'll leave you to figure out that algebra and, and figure out when is that, uh, when is that statement true. So, so the issue here is that sometimes it's true, sometimes it's false. Um, and then this one, this last one, is a proposition. It's declaring you can actually calculate this, right? I've got all numerical values, no variables here. For every value, I can calculate order of operations here and figure out if this is true and false, true or false. So, so on these last two, <clears throat> this one again is not a proposition. This one, this last one is a proposition. So, so I'll, I'll, if you watch this and you send me an email, um, send me an email about you know when is this third proposition true, and send me an email, let me know, do the order of operations, and send me an email, is this fourth one true or not, okay? Um, so again, just to review here, this first one's a proposition, second one's a proposition, third one is not a proposition, and fourth one is a proposition. So, so when you're doing that quiz on D2L, keep this definition in mind. A uh, proposition is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. Um, it's just two short questions there, and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to have two attempts. So if on your first attempt, you know you, you got them all wrong, you can you can try it again. So there's two questions, two attempts. Um, do your best and try to figure out whether or not those statements um, in the quiz on D2L are propositions. And this should be linked um, under the content page for week one. So. All right, and then um, after you finish that quiz, um, you'll come back to me and we'll talk about conjunctions. So we'll be taking you know, two or more um, propositions and joining them with things like and, okay, and conjunction and. Um, so we'll talk about that next. See you soon.